Happy Saturday, Floss Tube. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, crafty friends. Today is December the 5th. I think so. And it is the fifth day of Flossmas. And I thought for something a little different, a little fun, I asked John very nicely <laughs> if he would uh, do a video with me. And I have a Floss Tube tag, husband tag. So I've got a list of questions to ask you. It looks like a lot of questions. It's a, it's a fair number of questions. I may skip some of them, but I'm going to ask, I'll ask a few. All right. So I'll do my best. I should explain, first of all, that, uh, that we're not at home. We have, uh, we've, we've run away from the children for, for a night and are celebrating our anniversary this weekend. So <laughs> you're not going to say anything. Okay. All right. Um, I should introduce my husband, actually, I don't think I've done that. If you're new here, his name is John, and uh, what anniversary is this for us? <laughs> is that the first that's, question that's on the That's the first test? question on the, on the list. I think it's 24? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's 25 next year. So. Yeah. Yeah. We were married in 1996. Right, so that's 25 yeah. next year. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Wow. We're old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready for these questions? I'm ready. Okay, so. Am I going to get scored on this at the end? Is there a mark? I don't really no. know if I get an A. You, you get an A just for participating. Oh, participation. Yeah, participation right is okay. yeah, best right. in show. <laughs> um, and I need to thank, actually, Margaret Riser for sending me the list of questions because I was really struggling to actually find this particular list. There's a whole bunch of, of Husband tags on you. No, you're not allowed to. I'm no peeking. Right. No peeking. Okay. So question number one. Mm -hmm. What is floss? Well, I believe that's the thread that you use, right? Very good. Very good. The example See? of which is right here. In front yes, of us. there's lots of it in front of okay. us because um, I have been enjoying some stitching. I try not to confuse it with the stuff I use in the bathroom. Yeah. Uh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you don't take my floss. Into Okay, what is floss tube? That's uh, YouTube where the videos are focused on people who do stitching. Very good. All right. Yeah, you're 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 two for two. Okay. Uh, what is a needle minder? Uh, I think that's one of those little magnets where you can put your needle on so you don't drop it on the floor. Very good. Okay. Very good. Um, you might not know this one. I'm not sure. What is a UFO? That's the thing I see in the sky when I put too much to drink, I think. <laughs> so in stitching, a UFO is an unfinished object uh, that has been put away somewhere safe, maybe in a timeout corner because we've gotten sick of it. Floss unidentified, okay. yeah. No, it's just an unfinished, unfinished. object. Okay, so yeah. you can still identify it. You can, yes. Okay. You just might not want to. Uh, what is a whip? Well, <laughs> <laughs> and I should say, these, I'll try to keep my are, answers clean right, for your video. Thank you, I appreciate that. These are acronyms, so it's W I. Oh, they're all acronyms. Yes. Okay. Mm. Whip. Well, um, gee, I don't know that uh, that one escapes me. Okay, sure. it's a work in progress. Ah, okay. Um, an FFO. Again, keep it clean. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. I'm not sure what that one is. Sorry. Fully finished object. Okay. You might know this one. What is a sal? It's an S-A-L. Is that the woman you invite over uh. once in a while? The, <laughs> <in> the <house>? No. <laughs> uh, it's a stitch along. Ah, okay. What is a stitchy spot? Um, probably a place you find away from the family that you can sit and stitch and nobody bothers you. Oh, very good. Right. Very good. Do I have one of those if you house? have you haven't told me about it you probably <laughs> that's why i can't find you <laughs> uh, what is frogging uh when you go out to the swamp looking for dinner <sighs> no that is not frogging no oh, okay in stitching frogging is when you um you've made some mistakes and you have to remove the stitching uh, and so you rip it Rip it, rip it, rip it. I see. To get it. Why is it called frog? Oh, rip it. <laughs> okay. And the penny dropped. Gotcha. Okay. What is Ada? 
I don't know, I thought she was the Prime Minister of Argentina or something. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. Uh, it's a type of fabric. Ah. It's a type. Uh, there are different types of fabric, and Ada is one of them. We were just discussing fabric this morning, but I don't have any. Ada. I have some Ada at home. Okay. Do you remember the fabric that I showed you yesterday? That yes. I had a big idea. Right. Of okay, that's Ada. Uh, okay. okay. Um, what is a skein? Um, I think that's like a, a thing of floss. Yeah. Okay. Right. I will accept that answer. Okay. Well done. What is a hull? I don't think you walk down to get to the bathroom. H <laughs> a u l. I don't know. Okay, so that's when you purchase a whole bunch of crafting oh, I see. goodness, and then you uh, have a hull. You got a big hull. Yes. Okay. So, um, Ellen on her channel, she has a section in her in her video where she calls it hull Leluya, and then she. She shows off her stuff. She yes, well okay. yes, we we all we all do. Uh, what is a is stash? Is it a source of pride or a source of shame? Well, that's that's a tricky question actually because um, people are divided on their feelings and thoughts on haul. Mm -hmm. Some people love watching haul videos, and other people it really they really don't enjoy it. I think it's partly because um, you know you can be you can feel envious because you want to have all of that new stuff um, but also just that it can be overwhelming to other people mm -hmm. who are more monogamous project stitchers where they just work on one thing at a time and the thought of having all of that all at once is, is can overwhelming. Can you find a haul at like a garage sale or something? <laughs> you could, yes. Yeah, it doesn't have to be something that's, that's brand new. Right. It's just a bunch of new things to you that you're adding right. to your gotcha. to your which leads me to the next question. Okay. What is a stash? Well, that would be uh, a bunch of hauls put together. <laughs> a, bunch of, a bunch of haul put together. Yeah, right. pretty much. So your stash is uh, your collection. Your collection. Stash Fair stuff. Enough. Did you know right. that the tagline Do you have a stash? <laughs> yes, I'm aware. <laughs> the tagline for my video is from the stash pile. Right, I, I think yeah. I've heard that, yeah. Okay. Um, so what is, what is even weave? I, I don't know, I didn't know there would be an uneven weave, uh, but I guess, yeah. Okay, so Ada was a type of fabric. Mm -hmm. Even weave is also a fabric. That's that stuff right there. Ah. So it's, it's more, well, if I have this right, even weave is um, produced, like it's a man-made Okay. But people will also say that linen is an even weave because it has to do with how the warp and the weft. We were just talking we about were warp just and talking weft. About I know. That. I, I thought know. they were all even. I know. Saying, so, so even weave in the how way that you I understand on an it. Even weave wouldn't it wouldn't come out straight. That is correct, and you can buy fabric that's like that. So your X would be maybe a little bit taller than it is wide, or if you have the fabric, oh, the ori see. other orientation, it would be the other way around, hmm. which you can. You can get fabric like that, but it's not its not something that I would enjoy. It would really um, bug me. But anyway. All right, let's move along. Okay, moving along. What are orts? Uh, those, uh, the bad guys in Lord of the Rings or something? <laughs> people live in the They're mountains They're not orcs. The caves? Oh, no, orcs, orcs. Okay. with a T. So those are the little bits of leftover floss when you're done stitching your length of thread. Oh, okay. And you probably find them all over the place because I have little, I'll use right. little collector jars okay. for orts. So that's what that is. Got it. Um, what is railroading? That's when you force me into buying more <laughs> stitching stuff for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very familiar Touché. with that. Touche! <laughs> yeah. Railroading is when you take your needle, if you are using two strands of floss when you're stitching, you take the needle through the two strands, through the fabric, in order to provide a... Is there going to be a <laughs> test on this later? Maybe I should be taking notes. No, there's All no right, test. Alright, go on. I, you're still my husband. It's okay. What is a biscornu? It's a, so some sort of French stitching, I don't uh, know. No. It's it's a type of finish, so it's like a little pin cushion. It's finished in a certain way, okay. it makes a certain shape, and uh, I see. They're yeah, they're pretty. What is oh, you're never gonna know this. What is crinic? That's 
when you're really upset about this <laughs> stitching project that didn't work out. <laughs> Sometimes you cry when you use Krynic. Yeah, okay. It's a metallic thread. Ah. Uh, I, I actually don't know this one. What is HPI? Something per inch. I don't know. It sounds like a sauce I put with my meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> HPI, something per, okay, what is HPI, something per inch? What does the H stand for? I don't know, so somebody will have to fill me in. Uh, what is a Q-snap? Mm, I've heard you use that one before, Q-snap. Mm, I'll give you a hint, sure. there's one sitting on the table. Uh, pair of scissors? Nope. Try again, one last try. Uh, the little frame that you yes, use? Yes, very uh, good. So that's a Q-snap. You snap the thing. That's so right, that that's right. Got it. What is a grime guard? Is that like a mud flap on my truck? Is that the same kind of thing? <laughs> I've made these before with my sewing machine. Something to keep your hands off the fabric? Yes, or? yeah, that'll do. Okay. I'll accept that answer. They, it's an elasticized um, protector cover for a, okay. for a hoop or a q snap. Gotcha. Um, okay, you won't know this one, but I'll ask anyways. What is a haid? And it's H-A-E-D. Yeah, yeah, it's a heaven and earth design. They're massive, massive, full coverage pieces. Okay. I have one underway okay. uh, that I started many years ago. Mm. It's beautiful. And the last question kind of is something very, it's along the same lines. It's, it, it asks, what is parking? And parking is when you have a whole bunch of different needles threaded at the same time and you park them or oh, you okay. park your threads in the corner and then you just, you know, use the thread that you're using for those big full coverage pieces. Okay. That was the last question. All right. You did you okay. Go. Did you learn something? I did. I'll try to remember them for <laughs> next time. You know all the important stuff, so. Well, I know that I shouldn't interfere with your stitching. <laughs> oh, very that's good. That's the most important part of all. Oh, well, that's very sweet. Um, I do have several stitchy spots in the house. I don't have a, I don't have a hidden one. No. No. Okay. No, they're well, where are you they're clearly marked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I assumed you were stitching. I, I'm in the I car. I to something else. I'm in the car or recording. The car recording parking. <laughs> trying to haul in some more stash. Very good. Right? Okay. Yeah. Very good. You get All right. marks. Well, thank you for the interview. Well, thank awesome. you. Thank you for 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 coming. Thank you for agreeing to do this today. Right. This was very very good humored of you. No I appreciate it. Should we have a kiss right here? <laughs> okay. All right. There. Okay. That was awkward. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'll just say goodbye, and uh, we're gonna maybe go for a walk a little bit later. Okay. It's a bit uh, drizzly here today, and we're gonna find a Tim Hortons, get a coffee, and enjoy our day. See you next time. We'll see you. We'll see you on Monday. Take care, everybody. Happy stitching.